Hello and welcome to Water Quality. In this video I'm going to go over an example of mercury complexation with chloride and it's using information from the previous video so make sure that you watch that first. Okay in this example we're given the free mercury ion concentration of 10 to the minus 9 molar and chloride concentration of 10 to the minus 3 molar and so we want to know which complex is the most stable. Uh, so I have the overall reactions for mercury complexation shown here. There's four of them, and those are from the previous lecture. And so we're going to use those to um, develop expressions for each of the complexes and solve them. So I'm going to write out the equilibrium equation for each of these reactions. So for the first one, I have HgCl plus over Hg2 plus times chloride. And, um, and then I can take that and solve it for the HgCl plus, which is beta 1 Hg2 plus times chloride. And I plug in all the values, 10 to the 7.15. The mercury is 10 to the minus 9, and the chloride is 10 to the minus 3. And that gives me a solution of 10 to the minus 4.85. So we'll follow the same procedure for the rest of the reactions. For this one, the complex is HgCl2, no charge, over Hg2 plus times chloride. And we're going to go ahead and, and do the rest of them. And one of the reasons why, in the previous video, we derived um, the overall reactions is because it makes it easier um, computationally to deal with that set of reactions as compared uh, with the, um, oh, I forgot to put the two on here, and I've got to put the three. Um, so compared to the stepwise reaction, the overall reaction is easier to deal with when you're doing computation. Okay, so I've got the last one, and in each case, we've got the complex over the mercury ion, and then the chloride, and then don't forget the exponent um, that has to do with the stoichiometric constant. So let's see, we've got the next complex, HgCl2 naught, which is equal to beta 2 Hg2 plus times chloride squared. This is 10 to the 14.05, 10 to the minus 9, and 10 to the minus 3 squared. So that'll give us 10 to the negative 0 0.95 molar. And the next one, HgCl3 minus, is equal to beta 3 mercury concentration, Hg2 plus times chloride, and that is cubed. So this is 10 to the 16.05 times 10 to the minus 9 times 10 to the minus 3, and that is cubed. So this gives us 10 to the negative 1.95 molar concentration. And then our last one, HgCl4, 2 minus, is equal to beta 4 times mercury times chloride to the fourth. And this is 10 to the 16.75 times 10 to the minus 9 times 10 to the minus 3 to the fourth. And then our answer is 10 to the minus 4.25 molar concentration. And so now we need to answer the question, which is which complex is the most stable or the most dominant in this system. And the 10x format makes it really easy to determine which one is um, the largest number. And we can see clearly that this is the largest number or the largest concentration. So this one is the dominant species um, under this uh, set of um, concentrations. So that is our dominant species in this system.